Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be talking about and installing Pack App, an Arch Linux Pac-Man wrapper that can work on top of most package managers. Let's check out the open source project's GitHub page. I'm here on the GitHub page of the project, and I'll make sure to post a link in the description below if you want to check out the open source project for yourself. This is great because for all of you users who love Pac-Man and just can't get away from it, well now you can pretend like you're using it across most Linux distributions and including Mac OS. With this shell script, it's available on Debian, Ubuntu, Mac OS, Red Hat based Linux distributions, Gentoo, OpenSUSE, FreeBSD, and many more different Linux distributions. This is nice because you really don't have to relearn how to use a package manager when you can just install this one over the top. We'll be using these installation instructions right here to install it, and I'll be walking you through how to install it on Ubuntu today. All right, so let's first launch our terminal and let me make things a little bigger. All right, now we're going to be installing things. That way we can all say that we use Pac-Man, by the way, on any system. All right, so if we do sudo w get, all one word, dash capital O, and then we'll do a slash USR slash local slash bin slash pack apt space HTTPS slash slash github.com slash IC slash pack apt slash raw slash ng slash pack apt. Then we press enter. We're going to be asked for administrative password and then put in your password real quick. That will actually get the script down, the stable script from the GitHub repo. And then next we have to change up the permission level on the script. So let me clear things out, clear, and then do sudo chmod 755 space slash usr slash local slash bin slash pack app where pack app is currently located and then press enter. If everything works correctly, you won't get any kind of errors here. It'll just put you right back into the shell. All right, we're almost finished here. I'm ready to start trying things out, but now it's time to link things together. So we'll do sudo space ln space dash sv space slash usr slash local slash bin slash pack apt then we'll do a space and then slash user usr slash local slash bin slash pacman and then space two pipes or vertical bars and then space true at the end press enter and now we have a symbolic link created between pacman or something that we called pacman and pack apt this is of course to use it as your system package manager if you want it for a non-system package manager you can take a look at that link in the description below for more information on how to use it that way there is a way to make it work for non-system package managers as well also these commands will work pretty much across the board on all the tested distributions as long as your file structure is the same or similar let's try using pack apt first time here so if i do sudo pack app space dash sy some of you will be familiar with this command if you've used arch linux 4 this is how you update the package database so if i do this and look at that it takes off by updating all of our repos for us right away which would be very equivalent to doing sudo apt update but instead you're doing it with pack apt now and a similar format that you would use with pacman so one of so now we can install a package using pack apt you can do that by typing sudo pack apt space dash s just like you would with pacman and finally the package name so neofetch for example let's see if it'll install that and look at that it's processing through looking for the package and now it's installed can we use it on the system here neofetch sure enough that works so if i clear things out, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I have to use the name Pack Apt instead of Pac-Man? Well, you don't. You can use Pac-Man and say, I use Pac-Man, by the way. Just do sudo, type in Pac-Man like you would on any other Linux-based distribution, and you're on your way. Let's just remove that last package that we installed. So I'll do a dash R space Neo fetch, press enter. And it says, do you want to remove it? Yes, do. And it's gone. That's because of course we've created that symbolic link. So we can do things like sudo pacman dash sy to update our repos. They're already updated here. So it went through that pretty quick. In order to install our packages, we do sudo pacman dash s 
in whatever the package name is. So we just remove NeoFetch, we'll put it back on. Here we go, NeoFetch installed. Can we use it? Yes, we can, awesome. Do you wanna search for a particular package? You can do that too, sudo pacman dash s and then lowercase s and then whatever the package name is such as htop, does it have it? Sure enough, there's information about htop right here and what that package is including some other ones that have HTOP or TOP included in the name. If you're unfamiliar with using Pac-Man, you can check out the repository for this shell script, which will give you a few ways of using Pac-Man. But if you want more in-depth information, I'll put a, another video that I have that explains the conversions between all the various different package managers and the similarities between the commands and switches using the various different package managers. This is really great. Now you can take Pac-Man with you on any system that you want. They also have this great list on the website that shows you the various different package managers and all that's available as far as commands go up top. So make sure to check that out if you're running into some problems, but most are implemented here with almost all features. You can see that DNF has quite a few as well as zipper and dpackage. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.